Hello, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer, the board game review show that is always mistaken for the news whenever it accompanies Huey Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, today uh, we're going to go ahead and discuss uh, two games that have the same IP from different companies. We have Back to the Future, Dice Through Time from Ravensburger, and Back to the Future, Back in Time from Funko. Now with me to discuss these games is Mr. Zach. Mr. Zach. Zumbrennan. There we go. Double Z, Zach Zumbrennan. Yeah. All right, so... Um, We've just, uh, so let me tell you, I played both of these games once before with a four player count. Tonight, Zach and I played each of these games twice just with two players. We played, uh, Dice Through Time twice, and then we played Back in Time twice. Now, out of those four games, Zach, how many games did we win? <laughs> we won a grand total of zero games, Cody. We didn't beat the game, either game, once. Not only did we not beat it once, Cody, we didn't come close. We, uh, Either time. Yeah, we, we, it was pretty bad. Now, now this is interesting to me because I played both games before, as I say, with a four-player count, and I won both of those games. And frankly, I was kind of of the opinion one of the game, uh, both of the games were maybe a little easy. One of the games a little easier than the other. But they were both kind of easy. Now, however, now it's a different story. So I don't know if it's just a question of player count or I got lucky on those first two games. But I feel like the game is, um, the, the games are, you know, I thought they were too easy initially. Now I'm starting to have second thoughts on that. Um, I will say that um, uh, the both games are very much prone to alpha gaming. Where, where one person can kind of take the lead. and I mean, that's a problem with cooperative games anyway, usually. Unless there's like an element of hidden information. Oh, that's true. That's, yeah. yeah, I agree. But a lot of cooperative games, you can do that. And this is a game that's no exception. And I kind of pulled back because I know tonight a few times I was felt like I was trying to, yeah. to alpha game you a little bit. And I hate it when people do that to well, me. Yeah, so. but you know, when you know the game, that's a natural thing to do. Sure. It helps them, especially sure. for the first time doing it. But, sure, okay. But I know what you're saying. All right, so first of all, let's talk about... Um, uh, dice through time, just a little bit. Now, in dice through time, um, of course, this uh, the, the Ravensburger title. It is uh, now. I should point out too, which is something that is odd. Uh, Ravensburger usually works with the designers Prospero Hall. We've seen Horrified, we've seen Villainous, we've seen uh, uh, Jaws, and then of course we saw the atrocious uh, jun- Disney Jungle Cruise game. Um, but here is something very interesting. The Ravensburger game is not designed by Prospero Hall. The Funko game is designed by Prospero Hall. So that's something that's kind of unusual that I was not expecting. Um, but let's go ahead and just, first of all, just talk about uh, d- mm. Dice Through Time. So just l- l- let me know just generally. And we'll, we'll, we'll find out later which one we both think is the superior yeah. game, and we'll, we'll share our thoughts. But just, just di- uh, Dice Through Time, initially, what are your thoughts? Did you like the game? Did you not? What were you thinking? I, I liked the game. I mean, one thing that was... <clears throat> we, maybe we'll talk about this later, but both games are very different, where one game stays in one timeline. Uh, Dice Through Time goes through all the four timelines, the 85, 1885, the 1985, mm-hmm. the 15, the 55. Um, I like the mechanic of it. It's... Uh, the uh, the way they use the time machine is fun. Going through the different timelines, the dice uh, part of it is good. It's a fun game. It's a fun mechanic. Uh, very hard though. I don't know how you win this game. You know, uh, so players. when we yeah when we play with a four player, we got lucky because we, I guess we got lucky because a lot of the <coughs> excuse me a lot of the event cards that came up were actually um, the cards that were really helpful, and so they kept helping us, and we were able to get a lot of stuff done quickly, so we got a lot of Einstein tokens, and it yeah. just seemed like the more Einstein tokens you got, the easier the game got. Well, we lost fast, too. I mean, we, we, did, we did. We did we not did. play too many game turns before we lost the game. So both games. Both yeah, games. both games. We didn't get, I mean, we weren't playing that long, and we, we uh, failed miserably. Not only did we fail, but we didn't even do half the objectives. Yeah, yeah, we, it was... It was Tough for sure. Yeah, um, it, it's a, it's a dice allocation game, really. You know, you're allocating your dice, you're rolling at the same time, and you're kind of allocating your dice. Um, which generally, I'm, you know, I've liked some dice allocation games, but it's not my favorite mechanic to be yeah. blunt. But but I enjoy. I know Chris Letter, who who designed the game, he actually um, did uh, roll on. I believe it's called, which is actually a really fun dice game. Mm-hmm. Uh, very different from this, of course. But, I mean, so it's it's not surprising, though, that he'd do a dice allocation game. Um, so I, I really got a kick out of out of um, uh, the way the dice were used here, uh, generally speaking. Uh, now, with regard... Let's, let's uh, shift gears and look at back at time. Different mechanics. Very different mechanics here. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, this is more, I mean, it's a, I wouldn't call it a dungeon crawl exactly, but you do have the mm-hmm. the, the figures, whereas in, in, in Dicer Time, you're moving the DeLoreans just through the different timelines. Here, you've got the different figures in 1955. You're trying to get uh, George and Lorraine together to get them to fall in love, while at the same time, you're trying to get the DeLorean, uh, you know, on track to uh, make it, to get back to the future. Um, what did you think, generally, of, uh, of Back in Time and the mechanics there? <clears throat> um... I will say this, I thought Back in Time did a better job immersing you in the universe. Of so you think it was future. more thematic? I thought it was a lot more thematic. Um, I liked that there were more things you had to accomplish. You had the, the picture you had to keep intact. You had to get them in love. You had to get the stuff for you the DeLorean. Really? You had to move the DeLorean. You had all the all, trouble after trouble after trouble in different ways it could pop out You really you. liked the, uh, the, uh, the, the picture, disappearing picture. I, I did yeah. it wrong, and he got mad one time. Yeah, because you could do the sister first, and then the brother, and you save Marty to Wasn't disappear the brother? Well, I thought the brother was the first one to disappear. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> they did it wrong. you got to do the sister first, okay. and then the brother. All right. I all did right. it by how much I liked the characters. I liked the sister, okay. the leads, and well, the fair brother. Enough. Fair but enough. But you got to save Marty to the end. Uh, yeah, Cody did the picture wrong. I, okay. I did it wrong, apparently. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but no, it was... Um, gosh, I love the tiles, though. You mean with the, with the action yeah, tiles? Yeah, the action tiles I really liked because you can improve your hand, kind of like what you said, kind of a deck builder kind of aspect to it with mm-hmm. the tiles. But, uh, I mean, that, that's, that's how you win or lose the game. But I love the tile part of it. I love that it was just in the movie. It was just back it, in the future one. I'd like to kind of say, what, what aspects are similar? Because we see, I think the, the biggest... Between for me, the two? Between the two, for me, the biggest aspect that I thought was similar was Biff. How, how Biff is moving to locations, <laughs> no, that's screwing a good stuff point. up. And you've got you've, you've to try to manipulate Biff. You've got to move Biff away from the locations you're trying to, the, to protect. The Biff mechanic is the antagonist of both games. Yeah, for and, sure. Well, yeah. he's the antagonist of the movie, and that makes the but I think he's more of an antagonist in Back in Time than opposed to Dyson Time. You think he was he was a tougher obstacle? Oh, much tougher obstacle. Yeah, I would agree in, with that. I would in, agree uh, with that. Back in Time, because in Dyson Time, he's just kind of there, and he's easier to move around. In, in, in Back in Time, it's he's a, he's yeah, he's a, a bear. Of a gun. He is tough. Um, also, too, uh, what, what, what other similarities do you think there are? Um, Any, anything else? You honestly, I almost think the similarities in there. You really? Uh, I mean, I'm trying to think because I'm looking at the back of the boxes. I'm yeah, I mean, I do board. too. I think, I think, I think the Biff is probably the the thing that is really similar. Yeah. In both I mean, of they're these very, games. very, very different games. Whereas sure. Dice and Time is all three movies. What back about Time's just one? What about the uh, component quality, the board, the artwork? What do you? Th- what do you? Who, which? Oh, what, just on components, which or back in, back in Time. You think Back in Time is a better component quality one? Well, as far as you're asking, like the quality of the board? Quality of the board, components, yeah. What I liked about the Back in Time board is that it, the illustrations on it were like something from a 1950s comic book. Yeah, that's true. You know, they really stuck to that team. I mean, the the, uh, the, the rule book is uh, Tales from Space. That's the cover of the rule book. Right. And uh, it really had that kind of 1950s comic book feel. So it was even immersing you not just into the movie, but into the time period the movie takes place. In. And I like the uh, I like the DeLorean in Back in Time better. It looks oh, yeah. a little more... <laughs> we got these little, pla- little, little goofy little DeLoreans in Dyson Time, but it's a, it's a real looking DeLorean in Back in, back in Time. Um, as I'm looking at the board of uh, Dyson Time, I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's it, it gets the job done, but there's it's a lot more interesting in back in time. It is. It, it's like I say. There's kind of a kind of a dungeon crawl aspect. I mean, it's not oh, it's yeah. not a dungeon crawl, but no, but it has kind of that aspect to it. To it. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, so okay, um, I guess the question is then, you know, let's just say for argument's sake, you are um, a guy. Your foot gets run over by a truck one day. Yeah. You get a huge settlement. Government comes in, takes huge amount of taxes. You find yourself with about 40 50 bucks left over, yeah. and you want to buy a Back to the Future game. So the question is, mm-hmm. it, in my mind, you know, which one ultimately is more fun? Which one did I have more fun with? Even in losing, yeah. because you do have fun losing cooperative games. Yeah. You should lose more than you win. Well, um, go ahead. I like both games. I mean, I like both games. I do, too. I, yeah, do, I, do I like too. both games. But I will say this, we were more frustrated losing back in time than we were losing dice in time. Okay. And I think that kind of goes to the quality of the game a little bit. You think so? Because I think we were, it was, we were more frustrated by the losing because we were more invested in the game. 
So, so that translates to the question: Which game do you have more fun with? Okay, I will, t- I will answer that in a very roundabout way. Okay, all right. Um, what I like going back to Dice and Time. Dice and Time is great. What I like about it when you learn it. Oh my gosh, you can play this five times in an hour. Yes. Well, I mean, I mean, you I mean, keep losing. You right? keep losing, but it's a great way to just get out and just keep you know going at it, going at it, going at it. But if I'm picking the two, uh, it, I thought easily the easy winner for me was Back in Time. Really? Yes. And just and, and elaborate on that. Why? Well, when I first started the game, I thought, oh, this one's easy. <laughs> it really was deceptive. I thought, well, yeah. this isn't going to be that hard after just getting our you know butts handed to us twice in Dyson time. Um, but I, where Dyson time's a lot more simple as far as what you're you're trying to accomplish, and that's what makes it fun and easy. Uh, but back in time has more. It's easy to learn. They're both easy to learn. Uh, but but back in time has, uh, I think, more strategy to it. A lot more strategy to it. Yeah, yeah. And um, I also uh, I like the objectives more. Yeah. I mean, in dice and time, you're trying to go to different time periods and get the object and bring it back to the right time, which never happened in the Back to the Future movies. There was never a, the movies weren't about getting something from 1885 well, and, and bringing it back to 50, and again, with the exception of maybe the. The, the sports man. The sports thing. Act, yeah. But that wasn't a big part of the movies was taken. Oh, i got to get Lorraine's dress from, from 1885 and bring it to here. Right, right. But in Back in Time, that's the movie. Back in Time, yeah. you got Biff that's, you got to punch Biff, and Biff is trying to get them, and then you got to find the things to the DeLorean, then you got to move the DeLorean, and then you got the picture that's disappearing, which is my favorite thing of both games. <laughs> I just thought that was well, really I mean, cool. You mean, you mean out of both games? Uh, between both games, if I had to pick one little component that was my favorite, it was, it was the, the disappearing, disappearing favorite. picture. No, you know, I got that out. I was setting it up, and I got that out, and you were like, ooh. No, I mean, as soon as you push that, I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's so cool. And the way it works is, is yeah. fun. So, um, yeah, I thought there's just, they're both about the same easy to, to, to master, mm-hmm. but back in time to me, it felt more like a Back to the Future movie. Because we've said before, the, the number one uh, uh, the thing to look for in a, in a game based on an IP is does it immerse you in the universe? You're right. If, yeah, how thematic uh, yeah, how is thematic it is. We said that over and over again. That's like one of the number one things you're looking for in in that. It's like villainous. We talked about yeah. Ravensburger. Does that as good as any game? Right. Back to the future. Uh, 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 Battlestar Galactica is our favorite. Star for Wars Rebellion. Does Star Wars right. Rebellion does that really good. And I say between the two games, even though it's kind of fun going between the the, the three movies. Back in time does a better job getting you in the in the universe, okay. and that's the best movie of the three anyway. And it's and it's well, I, I agree with that yeah. certainly. So now before we before we sat down, I told you uh, I had a favorite. Yeah, that I definitely had a favorite. Mm-hmm. And so, what do you think? My which one that I like better is Dyson Time. Why do you say that? I don't know exactly. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm, I'm just going on a gut here. I can't say for sure. I'm gonna say Dyson time. You're gonna say it's Dyson time. Yeah. I actually prefer back in time. Oh, okay. I, and and, for, and why do you like that? For a lot better? of the reasons you're saying. Yeah. I find it a lot more thematic. T- quite a bit more thematic. And because it's so, mo- because it's so much more thematic, uh, to me, I mean, you know, again, mm-hmm. that's. So important to me is, is yeah. how thematic oh, yeah. the game we is, about that and, and then, of, but of course, the mechanics have to serve it. And I just felt like, too, mechanically, it was just a little more interesting. And I like Dice Through Time. I think Dice Through Time is a fun game. But, but you know, gun to my head, if I had to choose one of these, I, I, it'd be back in time. I think every day of the week. No, um, I think component quality is better, and it's good in Dice Through Time. But I think component quality is better than back mm-hmm. in time. And I think that the um, the uh, like you say the, the the tiles and how you can add the tiles is good. Oh, the tiles is great, and the disappearing picture. <laughs> the disappearing picture is so cool. No, uh, dice through time. I'd pull out because I like the mechanic of the game, not because it's Back to the Future. Right, right, right. Back in time, I pull out because I like the mechanic and I like the Back to the Future. Right, side right. Of it it kind of hits both of them, right? Yeah. Where I mean, this could be dice in time could honestly be just about anything. Right, it doesn't right, have right. to. It doesn't feel like it has to be Back to the Future to well, succeed I mean, you, as you, much you, as well, Back to the Future. Let me does. say this. Let me say this. I yeah. do think Dice Through Time is thematic. I do. I do yeah, get no, a sense is. of the theme um, to a certain degree, but it is, not actually. as much as Back. Not as strong as. But back I do get. It, I do get the theme from the first film. Halfway and, through Back in Time, I thought I was going to like Dice Through Time more. And then what changed your mind? Um, well, just uh, when when uh, I started really understanding. How when to you play get, it. Well, what's your what's your what's your three turn roll? Oh yeah, I have a three turn green turn roll. I've, if if I can't figure out how to play the game good enough to enjoy it by gate by the third game turn, then I'm bored and I want to play something else. Right. Okay. And that's and that's fair. And, yeah. and, and 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 I would say 
probably 90% of the time you get it by the third game. 90% of the time right. you get it by the third game. You third. usually yeah. do. Mm -hmm. um, and I think most people do. I think, yeah. But I think that's a good, that's a good rule of thumb yeah. there. Um, so, okay, so we're agreed. And it just, again, I've got to say, mm -hmm. uh, Prospero Hall knocks it out of the park again, with the exception of that slip-up of the Disney Jungle Cruise Adventure game. They're, they're batting a thousand. Yeah. Um, I love all their other games. They do another great job here. And really, I think it's so funny that Ravensburger published this game, and they published the game with another <laughs> company. And, and it's just, it's, I, I find that very amusing. But, yeah. Solid game. They're both fun games. I think if you if you get either one, you'll have a good time. You'll have a good game night. But I think Zach and I are in agreement. We're going to give the edge to Back in Time from Funko. Absolutely. All right, Zach, do you have any final thoughts you want to add here? Um, no. <laughs> All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for this uh, very special episode of The Discriminating Gamer. Uh, please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter. And, uh, Zach, would you sing us out with your rendition of Back in Time? Take me away. I don't mind. Uh, I, guess, I guess we'll end it right there, ladies and gentlemen. You promise me we'll be back in time.